Welcome to Chrono Trigger, everyone. Yeah. This, um, uh, even though I've never played this game, other than the first sort of 30 minutes, a long, long time ago, I, uh, I get the feeling of nostalgia just because of games from this era. Um, uh, I grew up playing Final Fantasy games, and this was just one of those classics that I, I just never played, just sort of missed. Um, yeah, and uh, I did attempt to start it. It was a period where I remember distinctly when, when I went to university, I didn't, uh, was, was when the PS3 came out, and I didn't buy a PS3, so I just played old games when I had the chance when I was at uni. So, I'd, you know, I'd often play sort of Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VI, and a friend of mine was talking to me about, uh, who was also into Final Fantasy, was talking to me about this, uh, about this and a game called Xenogears, uh, but because we never got Xenogears as an official release in Europe, um, you had to play it on an emulator. So um, I started both games and I ended up playing Xenogears instead, and I never came back to Chrono Trigger. Uh, I think I, I can't remember how much uh, of, of the beginning. I, I literally would have just played the touched base with the beginning. Um, and I, I, I don't know why I just never went back to it. But it, 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 I think that from what I understand, it has like the Holy Trinity in terms of the creators, in terms of there being the, the Final Fantasy producer, the Dragon Quest uh, writer and the artist from Dragon Ball. Uh, which is, you can clearly tell in that intro cinematic. And yeah, like I said, I, even though I've not played it, I have a feeling of nostalgia just seeing the Squaresoft logo, um, that art style from from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and so on. Um, yeah, uh, so we're going to get going. And now this isn't a bit of an older game, so a little bit. This is an older game, but um, so I'm not expecting much hand-holding in terms of, you know, knowing where to go. So I'm going to try and take as many notes as, as possible so that we can kind of keep a tab on things. I don't really know what to expect from the story other than, you know, dinosaurs, automatons, <laughs> samurai swords, ginger princesses, and frogmen. What more could you want? Let's go. Controls! Right, oh, I'm all, I'm all hyped up. Right. A and B are confirm. Y for the menu. W uh, warp toggle window whatever we'll, we'll figure it out man we'll figure it out uh right uh, I, I do prefer wait well let's just go active you guys can tell me which one's probably better um let's go with the original again you guys can tell me which one's better touchpad no, it's just I'll, I'll stick with the controller, right? I mean, this is sort of like a bit like a SNES controller, anyway. Right, enter a name. Let's just stick with the stock names. So let's. Uh, I, I never. <laughs> Sorry to go off on a tangent here. There was, there was uh, someone uh, I went to high school. I went to school with, um, <laughs> and uh, I was the only one at my school who played Final like these kind of games. Uh, everyone else sort of played sort of kind of more typical sort of football games, Call of Duty style games, whatever. And I convinced my this one friend to play a Final Fantasy game and, and I gave him Final Fantasy 9. I lent my copy to him to because uh, I felt like Final Fantasy 9 was quite a bit of a friendlier introduction, right? Uh, it's a little bit more whimsical, right? Than, than uh, at least at the beginning to get into. And then I just remember like the next day he said, yeah, uh, Steiner in Final Fantasy IX, he renamed him Rusty. So every time he said, my name's not Rusty, it's Rusty. And I was like, right, well, we're not friends anymore. You're not taking this seriously. <laughs> Chrono is correct. Right, so uh, this, yeah, right. there's a celebration going on. Chrono? Chrono! Chrono, are you still sleeping? I don't think I'm blocking any of the UI. Chrono's mother. 
Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. Lena? Lean? You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you better not let that giddiness get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Are we a silent protagonist? Come on now, out of bed with you. In terms of the, the graphical style, I don't know if we can change that on the fly. I might just see see what looks better. I, I imagine you guys would, will want the original. Okay, that is that is a fairly big difference. I don't know. This is a lot more readable, but I don't know how different it is overall. Look at the light effects. Mother? It's about time. By the way, you're going to go see... Oh dear, what was her name? That young inventress friend of yours? Luca. I'm going to write everyone's name down just because I don't... This is an old game, there's going to be no, like, journal for us and stuff. Chrono. Luca. That's right, Luca. You're going to stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Well, run along then and be back before dinner. A cat. We can pet the cat. 10 out of 10. You coming with us, Kitty? What's the cat's name, Mother? Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. 200G. cat. So we need to go to the fair. So let's naturally go to the inn. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. I suppose you won't be staying long though. Oh, I hope my shift ends soon. I want to go to the fair too. Right. Let's just adjust this slightly. Right, now we're in a big open scene here. This is this gives us a good idea of the graphics. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because I'm recording for YouTube, I feel like the high res is a better option here. <laughs> yeah, let's just... I don't know. You guys tell me. You guys tell me. Upvote a comment that says original or new. Lodging? No, 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 we're all right, we're all right. Look at all the ginger hair, I, f I feel seen. No, not yet. What, what are you doing here, then? You'll have to wait for a, a thousand years for another millennial fair. Festivities are in Lean... Is it Lean? No? Lena? Lean Square, just up north. More tents and stores than you can shake a stick at. We've got a ginger protagonist. I mean, things are going well. Say. Um... No, I'm, I'm not that rich at the minute. How much money have I got? I've got 600. Alright. Thanks. Let me play you a song in return. Chilling rendition.
Lovely song. I, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm really nervous about playing this. Remember, that earthquake we had the other day? Yeah. We've been having too, far too many lately. Hope it's not a sign something bad is about to happen. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Right, we're supposed to be going to the fair. So, uh, let's just go straight there. Hi there. Was it our stall in Lane Square? Got you. Now we've got a castle up there. We've got the docks over here. The ferry office. Uh, we're level 1, 70 health. Oh, Luca, cool. She's at the fair as well, obviously. We can maybe check out her stuff. Okay, so she's an inventor. Books strewn about, lots of mechanical looking things. No one's home, though. Oh, Luca's mother? Lara. Oh, hi, Chrono. Luca's off at Lean Square with her father, Taben, unveiling her new invention. Okay, something tells me it's going to be some sort of rocket <laughs> based on the introduction scene, uh, opening cutscene. Right, let's go to the fair. Alright. Yeah, I, so in terms of when I played the beginning of the game, God knows how many years ago, I, I really don't remember anything. Like I said, I, I was, I couldn't decide whether to play Xenogears or this, I ended up playing Xenogears. Which is an unfinished game, so I wish I didn't know. Uh, but whatever. Uh, today is the 1000th anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Enjoy the festivities. I surely would if I were your age. Kingdoms don't usually last that long, do they? Man, everyone has ginger hair. This is the best. But here, Luca and her father have put together another crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again like the last one. It's Lean Square. Legend has it people who hear Lean's bell live happily ever after. A fortune teller? Oh no, you, I can buy some equipment. No, we're okay. I can buy some magic here? No, uh... Items. Those runners are busy racing, so they won't answer if you talk to them. Line up with the bell, press the button when you're ready. Judge your distance carefully, and then press A once more. Ding dong! Way to go! I'll put one silver point on your card. Thank you. This is this kingdom has been through some hard times, like the war against the Fiend Lord 400 years ago. You should be thankful things are so peaceful now. Right, the Fiend Lord. Sounds like a monster, but might be a person who commanded fiends. Yeah, I am. I'm grateful, okay? <coughs> what have we got here? Melchior the Swordsmith at your service. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? Sure. Okay, we could afford a bronze blade. I live on the continent to the east. Come and see me if you ever have the need. Okay, so he's, a, he's maybe a foreign foreigner to these lands? There's a race underway. Be quiet and watch. If you want to try and guess the next winner, talk to me once the runners have lined up over there after the race. This merchant said he'd buy accessories if they're in good condition. Hmm. Maybe I should sell him this old old pendant of mine. And the winner of the last race was GI Jogger. 
Try and guess the next winner. Yeah, sure. I'm going for the cat. Cadillac all the way. Get going, guys. Come on, Cadillac. Come on! Put some pep in your step, Cadillac. Damn. The green ambler. Cadillac's gonna come good at some point. Like a house of horrors. Come on, come on, to the tent of horrors. Spend your silver points here. Put your bravery to the test. Let me check how many points you've got. One. Well, this is a good as place as any to spend them. Good a place as any. It'll be the green ambler for sure this time. I can feel it in my bones. No, the guy in the heavy set of armor. C damn it, Cadillac. All right, let's go see Luca. You're literally walking. There was a big war hundreds of years ago against the Fiend Lord's, Fiend Lord's armies. My mum said if we'd lost, we wouldn't be having a fair like this today. Hi there. Oh! Oof! I think this is the... I don't want to say princess, but from the opening cutscene, she had a, a, neck, a pendant like that, right? Ouch! I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh, my pendant. Okay, we've got a blind princess. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yeah, sure. <laughs> thank you. You must live, live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering around alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Alright then. This will be fun. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's, um... Marl. Sure. Marley? Marl? And you're... I'm Chrono. What a nice name! Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Let me see, how many silver points in your card? You've got one. Would you like to exchange ten silver points? Sure. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, I thought he meant I could get some silver points. It was the other way around. Oh, it's looking like a good fair. Have you heard the gossip? No. Well, just between us, I heard that the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. I think this is her, mate. Preparations are still underway. Enjoy, just enjoy yourself in the square for a little while and check back later. Was there a run a run button? Let's have a look around then. My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always the highlight of my day. Gives me that extra oomph when I'm starting to feel worn down. Yes, thanks. That you, Catterjack. You failure. Go straight ahead if you want to try your hand against Luca's bipedal robot battler, Gatto. You can win silver points if you beat him. Let's go see Luca. Where's Luca? They call me Gatto. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. <laughs> A hip hop robot. Great. A toast. I have no tech. <laughs> Is that gonna put her to sleep? Okay, she has a crossbow. 
Stop hitting me with your belly, Gato. No, we won. One TP. Don't know what that is. Oh, uh, what's like silver point? Oh no, I have lost, and it seems you have won. Here are your 15 points. Now, wasn't that fun? Got like a giant Pokeball for a belly. I'm going to use the D-pad for nostalgia's sake. Whoops. If you would like me to do different accents for different characters and suffer greatly, then you'll have to tell me. <laughs> I probably won't. Sniffles and okay, my kitty ran away. Drinking contest. Step right up. Give me that beer. Has he just drunk all of them? Not bad. I'll put five silver points on you. Go. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Don't be so disappointed in me, Mal. What is over here? Okay. Dances. Catch your rhythm, huh? Can you, you can dance along with... Right. Y, X, L1 and R1. Historic dance, entrancing, isn't it? I was worn out from running around, but watching this dance gave me energy. <laughs> She'll be enraptured with you very soon, Chrono, with all these dance moves. Right, let's go back to the fair now that Marl's with us. Right, he's saying the same thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought that was a repeat. Oh, I want to see it. Come on, Chrono. Crazy invention. That the robot we just beat up. Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to the Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine tingling show is just about to start. How many silver points would you like to spend? Ten? I'm Biggs. And Wedge, okay. <laughs> Big some Wedge. And Piet. Okay, I like Bigs and Wedge, I don't know who you are. Oh, I wasn't paying attention at all. Christ. Was that all my silver points? This isn't her, her this isn't horrifying at all. Biggs and Wedge showing up here. Uh, Biggs Wedge Piet. Uh, Biggs this is Biggs. Piet was originally in the middle, so I'm gonna go here. It's a Piozo doll. It'll spruce up your room. One silver point left. So do we go back to the robot?
We can get this cat as well for the little girl. Have I picked the cat up, or...? Definitely not. Right, in we go. Just a minute, I'm gonna get some candy. Alright. Excuse me, I'd like one of these. Sure, young miss. Thanks for waiting. Right, that's um, Luca's father. Step right on up. Any with the time and courage, our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. Yeah, you don't say. Simply hop up here and you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. <laughs> what does teleport mean? Okay, great. This contraption is supposed to transport objects in the blink of an eye. Luca invented this thing? Wonder what'll go wrong this time. Hey, Tavan. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Give it a try. Chrono! I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh, this'll be fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Just hop on up to the left pod. Yes. Goodbye, cruel world. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. <laughs> oh, amazing! Are we missing any parts? Any any limbs? So how was it? Wanna try it again? I suppose even Luca's inventions are bound to work sometimes. It worked! Unbelievable. They never, uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, Luca's done it again, ladies and gentlemen. A thrilling display of science at its best. What does teleport even mean? Wow, it means what just happened there, kid. I'm going to do it again just to show you. See, princess? That looks like fun. I want to try it too. Oh, I don't know. Huh? Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? It's alright, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait right here. Don't run off on me. This is going to go wrong, isn't it? Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. <sighs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sure about this? There's still some time left to change your mind. No way, I'm not afraid. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she teleports from the platform. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Oh, the, the pendant. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Oh? Huh? A rift through space-time. Luca? Luca! 
She's not reappearing! Well, alright, as you can see, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, folks. Move along. What just happened, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared. That couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared. The way her pendant seemed to be reacting to it. Something else must have caused it all. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Chrono! Oh, you're going after her. What a fine lad. That's the only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we've got no other choice. Let's just hope it opens up again. Well, it's worth a shot. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono. Embrace yourself. Wish I would have bought a bronze sword now. System activated. I didn't buy anything, actually, did I? <laughs> Initiating energy transfer. Boost the power output. Roger. I need more power. Roger. There, I think we did it. Oh, we get to keep the pendant though. Good luck, Chrono! I'll follow I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. <laughs> wow, straight into it, man. Right, we're in like a jungly area. Right, you guys will have to will have to discuss down below what your favourite time travel storylines are. Okay. Blue people. I'm already low health because of the robot fight. Evil bald blue men. Yeah, best time travel thing I've seen recently would definitely be Dark. If you've not watched that on Netflix, it's pretty special. Okay, we need to chase something. They're playing football with some sort of green entity. Hey, you don't have to attack me, I am friendly. I, uh, I can't remember when this originally came out. This would have been... Obviously it came out in the 2D era, so... Cyclone. Okay, so we've got a special ability. I, I can't remember, I just can't remember, was it, did this come out on the... On the NES or the SNES? Sorry, Amer... Oh, it's empty now. Americans don't call it that, right? NES and the SNES. In, in the UK we always called it the NES and the SNES. I think this came out on the snares, right? A power glove. I right, better try and equip this stuff. Oh, we've got a wooden sword. Right, so the power glove reduces our speed but increases our strength and weapon damage. I'll take it. Can't save yet. Hey guys, fancy a kick about? Alright, we're targeting the green thing. Now they're kicking me. Let's see what this special ability is, I guess. We're a bit slower now, though. That costs 
two MP, we'll save it for a tougher enemy. I didn't buy any potions either, did I? Maybe we had some by default. Oh, there we go. That'll do. So we're in a mysterious place. Now, does the... Now, if... What happened then? There was a question mark. Oh, did I miss something then? Now, is this the same piece of land, but in a different period of time? Yeah, what's that question mark all about? Yeah, this is definitely the same, because that castle's in the same place. There's a residence and a market. Okay, there's humans here, not blue people. Everything looks a bit more medieval, so I guess we've gone back in time. Millennial Fair here? Have you been in your cups? Our kingdom is only 600 years old. King Guardia the 21st still reigns, last I checked. Right, so we've gone back 400 years to when the Fiend Lord War was going on, right? We're in the same place, just in the past. I scarcely remember the days before the war against the Fiend Lord. The months turn into years, when will it all end? Hello there, knight. So, you've a mind to buy some weapons and join the fight against the Fiend Lord's army, have you? Wonderful. But remember to equip the weapons you buy, not much meaning elsewise. You didn't come all the way just to look, did you? Surely there's something you'd like to buy. Well, we can buy a bronze blade now. We, c we can't use the pea shooter. I'm guessing that would probably be more for Luca if she is actually going to join us. That's a huge increase in our defence. So, we've got 700... I'm going to call it Gil. It might not be Gil. So, so we get the biggest increase off the armours. So... I'll grab the bronze blade. Athenian water. Status ailments. Okay, that's a phoenix down. Shelter. Okay, so it doesn't. We don't get automatically restored unless we sleep somewhere. I think. Yeah, normal, 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 uh, normal mechanics for this kind of game. We got the bronze blade and a padded vest. Then I guess we we'll, might as well sell that stuff. Not enough to buy the bronze helm, though. Um, might as well buy a few of these. My thanks, do come again. I hope there's no punishment for selling the starting armour. But the true sin is still here. It looks a bit different though. We can rest here, I imagine. Where are you, you say? You're some sort of simpleton. <laughs> Even a half-wit should know this land, the Guardia. Our kingdom wages war with the Fiend Lord's army day and night, fighting to restore the realm's peace. Guardia, I need to remember that. Pray tell you know you knew that much at least. Uh, um, of course. Then might you show the good grace to stop wandering around pestering folk with moronic questions? Truly? You're a wayfarer then? I suppose you might not know if that's the case. Fair? Have you gone mad? This is no time for mirth and mummery. <laughs> oh, praise be, they found Queen Lean wandering up the, in the canyon. 
she'd been missing for so long, I'd feared the worst. She must be back at the castle by now, getting some much needed rest. Queen Lean. I think our hearts are all a little more at ease now. When Queen Lean disappeared, it was all the king could think about. He thought it the Fiend Lord's doing, and dispatched soldiers to the four corners of the realm to find her. But she's been found, and that's all that matters. The Fiend Lord's army weighed laced to Zenan Bridge. We've lost our only road to the southern continent. Okay. So they did, there was a bridge in that opening cutscene, right? I'm sorry, I've got to write everything down, but when we, we've got no in-game journal, right? So I, I've got to keep up with this stuff. Right, we, we could probably rest here. We don't really need to, though. Sure, let's let's, let's rest. We just travelled 400 years to the past. Probably a bad idea, though. Right? This box has been handed down for generations. Should you somehow manage to open it, you're welcome to the contents. A mysterious force seals it shut. Okay. <laughs> an evil but an evil box. Right, you probably wouldn't rest, you'd probably just try and find Mar. Oh, hi there. Toma! You an outsider too? The name's Toma. I'm an explorer, and if you can spare ten gil to buy this round, I'll be a storyteller too. Yeah, sure. I might not have that much money. Another mug! Cheers, friend. Well then, a promise is a promise. It's about the missing queen. My travels have taken me to the cathedral in the western wood. And there's something most peculiar about that place. It's only a hunch. Hang on. There's a cathedral. Western Wood. In Guardia. Beg your pardon? They found Queen Lean in the canyon? Huh. Seems my suspicions were misplaced. Huh. I was all but certain something foul was afoot at the cathedral to the west. That probably is. Right, well, that's the place we can go. Hello there, Bellmaker. My husband wants a daughter both clever and fair. I'm Banta, the village back blacksmith, and forging this bell at the king's behest as a symbol of his love for Queen Lean. The queen's vanishing act had me wondering if all this work would be for naught. After all, what's the bell without the queen, eh? But it seems they found her in the canyon up north. She's back at the castle now and I'm back to work. Okay, so there's a chance they didn't find her and they actually found Marl. Marley? However you say her name. Right, so this cathedral is, is over here. That's Zanam Bridge. The Fiend Lord's army laid waste to this bridge. We're working to repair it, but until Sir Cyrus returns, we must see to the kingdom's defence as well. Right, we've got the cathedral on the bat burner, but we need to try and find Marley, so... Yeah, we're going to run into some enemies in here, I'll take it. Oh, man! Piccolo! Ow! I've got a bronze sword now. Damn it, Piccolo! That's a Dragon Ball reference. Okay, he took more than one hit. He's tougher than the blue guys. A lot slower now. Strength capsule. Vos estas. Permanently raises strength by one. Sure. I'll use that. Oh, I guess we can save in the o in the overworld. 
So there's not random battles, it is sort of normal encounters, which I appreciate it. Oh, an ambush! Damn it, Piccolo! Let's try um, Cyclone. Okay, it does about 10 extra damage than a normal attack. So we were just finding 80 gil. It's, gil is both a Final Fantasy thing and a Simpsons thing. Oh man. What even are these things? I like those uh, bouncy balls with the handles. Whatever they're called. Potions uh, heal for 50, so there's no point using one yet. Might as well risk it. Yep, we're stacking up the potions. So how would this look in the uh, classic style? I don't know. I don't think they look too different. I'll... Um... Go with the high res. The enemy dropped a shelter. Did he go in this bush? Oh, Piccolo! Don't know if you can get hit from behind. No. So they take extra damage when they're riding a mount, but they probably do more damage as well, so we just leveled up. Sorry, I'll try and not sc scroll through those too fast. I'm guessing this goes to the cathedral. No, it's not, it's a dead end. Nothing. Oh, God! Pidgeys. I'm just, I don't know why I've got Pokemon on the brain right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Obtain, sorry. Right, Panacea. Right, and this is back to the start, so... Oh, there is a run button. Oh, I have to mash the button. Is that what it is? Switch the buttons around, sorry. There we go, that's much better. Guardia Castle, no trespassing. Here we go. Halt! Who goes there? I've not seen your face before. In those outlandish clothes. Wouldn't be one of the Fiend Lord's agents, would we? Huh, fat chance. Look at him. That boy's not built to lift a sword, let alone survive in the Fiend Lord's army. Well, suppose you're right. Now run along, boy, before we're forced to lock you up in the towers. Stop that at once. Queen Lee. That's Marley. That man's my friend. And you will treat him as such. So she is either Queen Lean and has travelled forward in time, or Queen Lean is in fact Marl and looks like Queen Lean. 
But, Your Majesty, there's something strange about his look. You refuse to obey my orders? Okay, so I'm guessing Queen Lean discovered something in the mountains and her pendant activated and teleported her forward. No, I, forgive me, my lady. Please, enter. <laughs> yes, bow before me. I envy you to be favoured by the Queen. Please pardon us. We ha we'd no idea you were Her Majesty's guest. King Guardia, the 21st, sits in audience. Waits in audience. S within, sorry. Be mindful of your place. A wizard. A chancellor. Hmm. Okay, he's not impressed. I am to understand that you played some role in helping to rescue my lady wife. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Might you know what befell Lean? She's been acting rather oddly since her return. She seems to have lost the coral hairpin she always wore. She always treasured that thing so. Right, hang on. Queen Lean has a coral hairpin. Forgive me, you must be tired. Please rest in the knight's quarters down the stairs to the left. I'll speak to the commander. Uh, right, he's repeating himself. The queen's chambers are above. She's granted you permission to pass. The king's chambers are atop the tower ahead. The knight's quarters are downstairs. Go straight from there <coughs> and you'll find the stairway on the left. Right, let's talk to Queen Lean, or Marl. Marley. Queen Lena? Lena? Leany? I don't know how to pronounce anything. Nothing in here we can steal. Oh, there was a chest. A potion. Totally worth it. Majesty awaits you. Hi there. It's been over ten years since Her Majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarcely aged a day. Oh, really? Interesting. And she's not aged. Oh wait, has she been gone for ten years? No, she can't have been gone for ten. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before her disappearance. Huh. Interesting. You're the one who saved our queen. I'd expect one a bit more dashing. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to have words with this man in private. Not suspicious at all. As you wish, Your Majesty. The rumours between those two now, they're going to be spreading them. Come nearer, don't be shy. <laughs> Told you, didn't I, Chrono? It's me, but everyone keeps calling me lean for some reason. Wait, have I defaulted this back to the old graphics? Right. So maybe she... Uh, yeah. I'm glad you came. We were only together for that short time at the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thanks, Chrono. What's happening? Mal? I, I feel like I'm being torn apart. Help, Chrono, I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Chrono, help.
Uh oh. We're gonna get blamed for this. An ether. Ether, ether. Yeah. Okay, so maybe Marley is Queen Lean, but he needs to go back in time a bit to catch up. It's all sort of messed up already, right? Hi. Majesty dismiss you already? You didn't engage in any untoward behavior. Behavior? Behavior, did you? No. Let's hope that that's the case. By the way, did Her Majesty seem somehow not herself? Yeah, a little bit. Just as I thought, she claims she's not lean, and there's something something different about her. But don't let word of this escape. A great number of things change as the years go by. But if there's one thing that will never be the same, it's women and their insufferable love of gossip. <laughs> sure. Uh, King Chrono. Oh, Luca. Oh, phew, you're okay. Did you find the girl? Sort of. She what? She disappeared? Huh, just as I thought then. How are you going to get out of here? I knew I recognised her from somewhere. We seem to be in Guardia, but it looks a lot older than the Guardia we're from. They must have mistaken that girl for her ancestor. Oh, right. After all, that girl was our Princess Nadia. Um. Okay, so it's... it's right. Well, that is, Princess Nadia is a descendant of Queen Lean, Lena. Okay, daughter, granddaughter, great granddaughter. Queen Lena was kidnapped, and someone was supposed to have gone and saved her. But now history's been changed. Right, so that means that she. Right, Nadia ceases to exist until we rescue the princess. They're the queen. Marley looks so much like the queen that they probably called off their search while she, when she appeared. But if the real queen is killed... Yeah. Okay, we're dealing with that kind of time travel, right? Single continuum time travel. Marley will never have existed. But there might still be enough time if we can save the queen. History as we know it should remain unchanged. Something must happen to the Queen in this era if she isn't rescued. And if something happens to her, her descendant Princess Nadia will never come into being. We have to find the real Queen. Cool. Right, so yeah, single continuum time travel, right? No multiverse rubbish. And to understand that you play it right, right. Let's have a look up here as well. Talk to the counsellor, was it? Nice. Just steal money from the king. A mysterious box. Chancellor. Hmm. What do you want? Be gone from here. Just between you and I, Chancellor's been acting strangely these days. I've spied him sneaking out of the castle time and time again. Uh, he might be working for the Fiend Lord. The only thing I've noticed out of the ordinary as of late is the Queen's personal guard. That froggish creature has not been around. Right, okay, that's the guy from the cutscene. They say a curse turned him into a frog, but I question the truth of that. No doubt he's been one of the Fiend Lord's spies all along. People think the Chancellor's behaviour is strange, but I don't find it troubling at all. The Chancellor's a man of strong faith, 
Why, he goes to Manolia Cathedral every day to pray. What, the place where something dodgy is going on? Bronze armor. Nice. We'll keep the sight scope. Uh, I can't equip anything else. on a quest 600 AD right, we need to get to the cathedral I don't know if the enemies will respawn oh it scared the hell out of me man We could go and equip... Right, hang on. Let's save the game. Right, let's see if we can buy something for Marley. And um, for Luca, sorry. Right, if we get a Peter, we can't afford the pea shooter. We'll get her a bronze helm. Let's head to the cathedral. Ghosts! Oh, no it's not. <laughs> it's a nun. We pray for the peace of our world. <laughs> we are ever so devout. Tee hee hee. Oh, great lord and master, deliver your judgement upon the weak and undeserving. These are very judgmental nuns that we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. I mean, delightful looking you are. Right, they're all fiends. You're all fiends! Why not say a prayer for yourselves? What did you find? They're gonna try and eat us. A hairpin. Hey, this is Guardia's royal crest. Yep. You're a bunch of piccolos. Oh, worse! Slow. Oh, man! But you can remove that. Speed up, man! Nothing. Okay, so their positioning does kind of change. Mm -hmm. 
Oh god, auto? No, no, no. I think it's on pause. No, it's not. Is that a critical hit? Oh, is she petrified? Right, okay, so the further she away, she away she is, the more damage she'll do. Nice, Luca. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Oh, the... Did you steal the hairpin? Oh, the frog guy! Lower your guard and allow the enemy in. You've come to save the queen? The fiend's lair lies within, it would seem. Would you, will you accompany me? You, you're a... Uh... Chrono, it's a giant talking frog. You know I can't stop frogs. Suppose I ought not to expect you to trust me, looking as I do. Very well, do as you please, but I must save the Queen. Wait. You, you don't seem like a bad frog. I mean, person. I mean... What should we do, Chrono? Let's go with it. Right, I guess I'll just have to get over my aversions to slime moist-skinned creatures. So, what's your name? Frog? <laughs> Is that his canon name? I can't call him Frog. Is that honestly his canon name? I'm gutted. Call him Frog. Did they did they give it, did they call him something before? Frog will suffice. All right, nice to meet you, Frog. Okay, fair enough. It was fun. And you as well. This room must conceal a hidden passage. Let us search every corner. It's got to be the piano. <sighs> got to love the organ noise uh, sound. Oh look, dancing gargoyle doing a little two-step. Dude, I like a groovy two-step, these gargoyles. And spinning heel kicks. And roundhouse kicks. Let's use some potions. Luca learned flamethrower. Nice. And learned fire world jewel tech. All right. So. Wait. Oh, what? Hypno wave. Slurp. Oh, right, okay, restore a small amount of HP to an ally. Right, we can purchase these, I think. Tech points, I guess TP is right. Slash enemies with wind gusts. Yeah, we're a bit low health. 
He's already level 5, aren't you, frog? With Athenian water, and obtained a potion. He's grooving gargoyles. Hit pretty hard. How can we see how many tech points? Two stepping gargoyles. Uh oh. Snakes! Tanky. Level up for Luca. Groovy gargoyles. Guys, how's it going? Nice firewall. Oh, deleted. More Athenian water. What does that do again? Alright, it's so a phoenix down. That's that's on the upper level. Right, let's uh, save that. Okay, so she does do a melee attack when she's close enough. Right, the upstairs bit looks uh, optional, so let's go up there first. Steel Saber, I'm guessing that's for... Frogman, no. That's a big increase. Now he uses straight swords, we use curved swords. A hidden Naga Bromide. Hey! There's humans in here. Uh-oh. Try and steal our Bromide, will ya? Get him! Ah, this, this, this is gonna be rough. We need to do a combo. Got out of that one. Slurp slash an X strike dual tank. Maiden suit, a potion, and an ether. Mm. 
And you can heal as well, right? How much was that? Jeez. Okay, like, about the same as a potion, so... Oh, the enemies have respawned. What the hell? Bah. Yeah, she's much better at range, so but positioning is important here. As things get harder, we'll consider it more. Ah, back when games had no difficulty levels. Well, games, that's still true for some games now, to be fair. Souls games, right? Okay. You're not real. Oh, how good of you to come. I'm sure Yakra will be pleased. Please, pass the time in here with us until he has a chance to come and greet you properly. What are you on about, mate? Did you by chance come to save Queen Lena? Oh, you did! That's good to know. Oh, you came to rescue me. How kind of you. But I assure you there's no need. The master of this place, Yakra, is so very kind. I've decided to stay here. Please make yourselves at home too. Don't be in such a hurry to leave! Please take time to enjoy yourselves with us! <laughs> oh, snakes. Our first miss! Oh, that did very little damage. Getting some good critical hits. We're leveling up pretty fast now. We're catching up to old Froggo. Ugh. What's with the disguises? Hurry up and change. No need to be walking around like humans in here. Yakra's a genius. His plan to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role worked like magic. Ah. Now the Queen's ours and the castle's in uproar. This is rich. Those ones we ate last time weren't so bad. And those two soldiers we just caught look plump and juicy. Huh. Monsters on a lunch break. It's almost time for my shift. I hate pretending to be human. They're so smelly and repulsive. It's demeaning. Ah, intruders! Oh no. Lots of respawns then, so you have to take that into account while we're exploring. I'm getting lots of Athenian water though.
Maybe certain enemies are more vulnerable to the ranged attacks. Don't know. Okay, we're poisoned. Don't stay poisoned after we've revived either. So Froggo seems to be a magic specialist because he's got he's got like default. Oh no, he doesn't have the most MP. Luca does. A save point. So loads of save files. In fact, these videos will be every other day, and they will be about between an hour, 90 minutes to two hours. Shelter. Oops. Hi there. Can you let us out? No, stop you idiot. I said a million times. It's just a decoy. Oh, wait. Sneaking past me, huh? You must really think you're smart. No, I want all the smoke. Okay, armored enemies take very little range. No, just take low damage in general. Oh, slapped us. Okay, they're not that tough. Bats. So we don't need to fight enemies, do we? No entry within. Is there a hidden wall? Might as well fight a bat. Try it out. Oh. Okay, big fella's not that tough to be honest. Another level up for Chrono. Guys, maybe we need to take out all the guards. These little gargoyles are quick, man. Okay, he heals off that. We might be poisoned now. Big man. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Alright, I imagine she'll do more damage against flying enemies. Oh, shoot the gun, Luca. Okay, we're like 
on the same level as Froggo now. No entry within. What? That is a lot of damage. Bots. I'm just going to try and take everything out. Bloody hell. I'll do it. Oh, we need to press the skulls, right? That must be it. That'll get rid of the spikes. I should have healed. Let's get rid of these quick little gargoyles. loads of money at least. An iron sword? That'll probably be for Frogo. Yeah, minor increase. Let's find find Queen Lean. What opened? Oh yeah. Fellas, let's fight these without the others. Hey, hey, hey. Damn it. Oh, I didn't heal. Oh, these are so annoying. Nice work, Froggo. Yeah, 
Ow. Hold on. So does the distance traveled affect how much damage we do, maybe? Hard to tell. Right, we're all... Okay, level 7s. Prepare yourself, Queenly. It's time to... Time you bid farewell to this world. I should have used, I should have rested. Idiot. You! How did you get in here? Frog! Flee, your majesty. We shall dispatch this fiend. Be careful. Ah, there's no use in fighting. None of you will leave this place alive. Intolerable frog. Let us see you hop your way out of this. Enough of this Chancellor charade. I've got no MP left. This was foolish. What? What the hell is happening in there? You're a crustacean. The Chancellor transformed into Yak. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, damn it, frog. Ah, 
map. Again, frog. I'm running out of Athenian water. Now everyone, we need to heal. Slash Hypno Wave. Oh, hello, Queenie. Thank you, Brock. <laughs> I mean, you come to rescue me. His Majesty awaits most anxiously. We should return to the castle. I hope we get to rename Frog. I thank you, Chrono and Luca, for all your aid. And I as well. Please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. The real Chancellor. Oh, my thanks. That monster stuffed me in there like a sack of coin. Oh, Your Majesty. I am undamaged, as you can see. Was there any actual stack, sack of coin? A mid ether ether. Ether. I've no idea how I'm going to do the thumbnails for this. Yes, let's be on our way. Excellent. You cannot know how I worried, Lean. Lena. Yakra, the vile beast, impersonating me and kidnapping the Queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again. I am disgraced. I failed to protect my Queen. Frog! <laughs> Frog, no! I'm forever in your debt. Who knows what would have happened to me had you even come a little later than you did. By the way, what became of the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah, I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Chrono, where did the princess disappear? She may be there now. Oops, sorry. Chancellor? Yakra. You have my deepest gratitude, Lord Chrono. But I wonder, who then was that girl we found in the canyon? It's been many a day since the king and queen could sit together. So, she wasn't our true queen after all. Right, let's go and check on Marley. Uh, Nadia, really. She truly was the very image of our queen. The real Queen Lena was somewhere else then, just as I thought. <sighs> huh? What happened? Princess Nadia? Chrono? It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. I wonder if that's what it's like to die. Your Highness, I... 
He came to help me too. Wait, your highness? Oh. I guess you guys figured me out, huh? Sorry, Chrono. Didn't mean to trick you. My name is really Nadia. My father is King Guardia the twenty-third, uh, thirty-third. I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun, like everyone else. But if you'd known who I really was, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, would you? I still would have. Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. <laughs> the real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Chrono. Uh, how do we do that exactly? You're returning home? I don't know from where you hail, but I wish you a safe journey. The real queen Lena was somewhere else then. Just as I thought. The longer I look at you, the stronger the resemblance to Her Majesty. It truly is incredible. Yeah, she... Yeah, I guess her hair is ginger. It looks just a bit blonde at a distance, but... So, Chrono, Wind, Luca, Fire, Marley is water. Wonder if we can chase after Frog. You must be the real Queen Lena. My, we truly could be twins. You get along with the king now. Now, you hear? Or I'll get angry. Actually, I wouldn't even be able to do that, would I? <laughs> um, never mind. I just wish you all the best. So she's not had her daughter yet. For some reason, you almost seem like one of the family. Ah, oh, good. You're safe. Even to look again now, you are the ghostly image of Lena. Your manner, on the other hand. Well, never us mind that. You've done me a great service. There is aught I might do for you. Simply speak, and it will be done. My, you could be Queen Lena's twin. Been many. Yep. Yeah. Let's just check up here quickly. Talk to the Chancellor's wife. I didn't know a frog could so, could be so brave. A fiend was posing as the Chancellor all this time. Well, I must say, the fake one was far more refined. <laughs> Did I not open this? Oh. She hates her husband. Right, let's go and retrieve the frog, hopefully. His Majesty should be able to rest more easily now. Queen Lena's presence brightens these halls far more than any torch could hope to do. Frog! It was my presence here that endangered the Queen. Why, you were time travel as well. I can remain at this castle no more. Indeed, your resemblance to the Queen is uncanny. Chrono, you've the makings of a great swordsman. Come back, Frog! Hmm. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. If we could learn anything from this time-travelling journey, Luca. Henceforth, you may come and go as you please. I envy you. You bested Yakra. What's going on around here? The knight's quarters are below. Okay, we could. Yeah, let's. Yeah, we need to rest. Yep. Let's have a kip. It's been a long day, hasn't it, Luca? Look at this golden knight. That's like my Elden Ring build. So, that cathedral was at the heart of it all. Seems that frog, that frog fellow served valiantly too. But now that our enemies plan to kidnap the queen has been foiled, they will no doubt be quick to launch their four assault. Oh, if only Sir Cyrus were here. 
All that remains is to crush the enemy's troops. It seems the Fiend Lord sent Yakra here as well. The Majesty's abduction was the work of the Fiend Lord's troops as well, it seems. Ugh. Sir Cyrus was commander of the knighthood, sworn to protect the king and queen with his own blade. Ten years ago, he and a lone friend departed on a quest, and no one has heard from them since. That's going to be Frog then, right? That, he's Sir Cyrus. Who would have thought that the cathedral, their hideout, was such sacrilege? That Frog is Sir Cyrus then. What kind of equipment is Marley using? We've got a maiden's suit, so she can have that. Oh, we'll keep her accuracy. She's using a crossbow, right? Let's stick with the strength. Let's just check the east wing. It's a 2D game, so left and right are east and west. Uh, west and east. The dining hall is below. Fiend Lord's troops had better watch out for us. This dining hall is for members of the knighthood, but you're welcome to our tables. Eat your fill before you go. The master of kitchens has earned his post. His cooking is worthy of at least three stars. I'm dying. I'm dying of hunger. <sighs> Your meal's ready. Finally. An entire hog. I should have known Her Majesty would never come here to snap between meals as the other girl did. The real Queen Lena's return? That's wonderful. We best prepare a feast. You mean to tell me that was not Queen Lena? And to think, I wasted all this time whipping up a batch of that ice cream she wanted so badly. <laughs> I suppose it's for the best. I can't imagine a dish would have been appetising. <laughs> ice cream, Jesus. Right, where the hell do we go from here? I guess whence we came from, right? Oh. Bloody birds. We need more panaceas. No, I need more potions, actually. Has the bridge been fixed? No. Right, we got tons of cash, so can buy the pea shooter. Did we just equip? 
the pea shooter so we can sell the air gun. have knowledge of what we've done yet. Oh, You guys can keep playing. Oh, We're too strong for you guys now. Maybe not. You stepped on me. What the hell? This thing's invincible! Alright, now we get Piccolo. I'm presuming this is how we get home. So, how do we get home? Well, your highness, we... Please, call me Molly. Well then, Molly, observe. Whoa. Luca, you're amazing. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. Sorry, I should be more humble in front of... Enough already. I'm a princess, but what's that? What's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you, you're incredible. I trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location and in a different time. The gates are unstable, that's why they appear and disappear all the time, so... I use the principle behind my telepod device. To create this gate key. It's what's locking the gate in place. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright, come in, Chrono. Yep. If there's a greater threat at play here, we haven't found it, have we? Oh, we made it. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It'd give you a chance. It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Molly. What are you talking about? It was the most fun I've had in months. And I made new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more s snooping into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Luca. Well, Chrono, you ready to escort me home? Of course. Right, what time are we on? Right, we're, we're at the two hour mark. Uh, hang on, are you selling anything good now? I can afford that, man. Suck it. I'll keep the steel saber. I'll keep a spare. I live on the continents of the east. Yep. By the way, is there any chance you could take that young lady into sell talk that young lady into selling her pendant for to me? Uh, no. Yeah, didn't think so. Oh my, that pendant is dear me. I haven't the money to buy a thing like that. Keep it safe. It's a valuable trinket you carry. Why, are you a time traveller as well? Right, 
Right, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave that one there. Let's just save it to double check. Wow. Awesome start. Quite a whimsical start. I imagine things might get a bit more serious. Um, I mean, from the op that opening cutscene, we've got, what, dinosaurs? So, um, we've got automatons. Loads of other stuff. And, um, yeah. So we've just sort of meddled in time and had to correct it. So we'll have to see where it goes from here. Awesome start. Let me know. Yeah. Yeah, just any, any tips you've got for the game. Um... And hopefully, yeah, we'll enjoy what I know is regarded as arguably the best um, JRPG or CRP uh, or quite sort of classic RPG of all time, really. Um, I'm, I'm finally playing it, so yeah. It's the first episode in the new series, so uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It'd help me out a lot. And uh, just remember, everyone, never trust an uncrate. I'll see you back in Guardia.